Welcome back to FM Story. We're in the running to the end of season two of the B to save Manchester United. Probably the last episode of the B to save. We're still in the Champions League. We're in the quarterfinals against Real Madrid. We've got an FA Cup semi final to come. And we're in pole position to finish the top four and qualify for the Champions League. So, without further ado, let's get into the action. So we've made it to FA Cup semi-final day, a game at Wembley against Crystal Palace. Since the end of the last episode, things have been interesting, let's say. We started with a 1-1 draw, we at Leeds, um, who were great in the first half hour, took the lead. They equalised when Sarabia, Sarabia had an open goal that he couldn't possibly miss from. And then in the second half, we just didn't really do anything. Uh, we then follow that up with a, a 2-1 victory over Tottenham. Um, it did look like we'd lost the chance. Um, we were obviously 1-0 up half time. The Antonio Silva then got sent off. And then from that moment on, it was just on top pressure. They then eventually got their equaliser in the 7th minute. And then we somehow conjured up a, a winner out of break from a corner and Rooney Barge fed in Jaden Sancho who'd come off the bench slotted home gave us the 2-1 victory and really important as, as Tottenham were one of the teams challenging for the top four as well we then followed that up with another home game this time again Newcastle and we were a lot better um, we were 2-0 up comfortable Trippier scored a late free kick to, to give them hope, but then Julian Alvarez got another one in injury time to give us a, a 3-1 victory. That result actually put the top of the table, although we had played, I think, two or three more games than both Newcastle and Arsenal, who were challenging there. We then went into the first leg of the quarter-final of the Champions League against Real Madrid and basically fell apart. It looked like we might have got back into it when, when Bruno Fernandes scored just after the hour to make it 4-2. We were the ones making all the all the moves. But then they got a goal from Paulinho and then Vinicius Jr. danced through the, the team to get a, a 6 to give them a 6-2 victory in the in the first leg. We then followed that up with an abysmal performance against Crystal Palace, um, losing 2-0, which isn't a particularly good sign given that's who we've got in the semi-final the FA Cup coming up um, but yeah we can't possibly be as bad against them as we were in that game and then the second leg of the quarter-final of the Champions League got off to possibly the worst start it could have got off to when Nico was caught on the ball midway in that inside her own half one pass caught and it's just changed through he opened the score in we then pulled the goal back. <laughs> they went 2-1 up. We eventually managed to get ourselves 3-2 in front. Um, obviously, it was going to be tough to get ourselves back into that game uh, on, on aggregate. But they were as we were pushing forward, looking for goals at that point, um, they were able to pick us off the counter-attack. It was pulled back by David Alaba to make 3-3 three, three on the night. Overall, on the, on the night, it was a pretty decent performance. Um, we just need to hope that we can go back to the level of performances that we've had against Tottenham and Newcastle in this semi-final and in the run into the season. As far as the league's concerned, we are third. We are two points off the top, but we've played two games more than Liverpool. We've played one game more than Arsenal, and we're a point behind them. Newcastle were level on points, but they've played two games less. Man City are a point behind us on the same number of games. Chelsea are four points behind on the same number of games. So you would say, looking at that, that we're in a decently strong position to hopefully finish in the top four. But then you look at who we've got left to play this season. And after the FA Cup semi-final, we've got Man City away, followed by Arsenal at home. And then we end the season with Chelsea at home. So three of the four team, three of the teams that are around us in this battle for the top four, we still have to play. So obviously in our own hands but equally 
being away at Man City isn't the best place to start. We've had a not the best run of games against Arsenal in this save so far. Um, so it's going to be tough, but we need to, hopefully we can make it to the FA Cup final and then hopefully the league will take care of itself after that. So this is the side we're going into the semi-final with. Rooney Bargy in the last couple of weeks since he's actually been starting um, has really put in some really strong uh, performance. So he's starting. Garnacho's available but not fully fit to the bench. We are missing Rasmus Hoyland and Mark EU. Hoyland failed a fitness test. EU not ready for a fitness test. We've got Julian Alvarez through the middle. And hopefully we can perform better than we did a week ago in the league. Against Crystal Palace, not much happening early on. We've had a, we've had barely any of the ball. We've had a couple of shots, but obviously very good. Scalvini wins the header down to Thiago. Scalvini goes all the way back to Onana. Back to Scalvini. Dallo spaced on the right hand side. Back to Rooney Bargi into the box, dancing round them. What a finish. And that's the kind of stuff. He, he, he's been sensational since we've put him back in the team. Since Garnacho got injured and we started him that right-hand side, it was really actually in Hoyland that made us put Alvarez through the middle. But, but Rooney just comes in, dances round, opens up the base, and just beats Dean Henderson. But it was actually the injury to Hoyland that uh, saw us move Alvarez and saw Rooney get a consistent start. And it's repaid the pay. Draw deep in there, half of them. Edward back to Mitchell. Mino into Curie. At least in so much space. Oh! I think that's their first shot of the game, isn't it? So much space for him to put inside. Shaw runs away from everyone. And people was incited by it. Both Thiago and Joe Nevers picked up knocks, but we've taken Thiago off just because of how he went down. And we brought Nico on. We gave them so much space for that goal. And then since we scored, we've gone next to nothing. Dallow, Thro, Juni. Scalvini with Finds Joe Neves in space. Into Alvarez. And that's exactly the reaction we wanted to start the second half. Got ourselves back in front early on. Scalvini was able to find Neves in the space there. Slots it into Alvarez. Here it's the first time. The keeper should do a hell of a lot better than that. But don't care with 2 one off. Dallo, Fernandez, Nico, Joe Neves, back. working our way away from the ball, but Rashford finds Dallo into Rooney, slides it into Fernandez, decent save this time from Henderson in the corner. Sure to take it. Looks for Scalvini in the box. It bobbled up and down in the air there and eventually went through to their keeper. Alright, we made two genes. Brought a miss out on for Joe Nevis, who'd picked up that knock in the first half and brought Garnacho on on the left for Rashford. Hopefully, we've got enough to be able to see out the team. Alright, we've tried to solidify it. We've taken it off. Fernandez brought Casemiro on, which makes it a bit more difficult to play through. And there we are, we made it through to the FA Cup final. After that scare, I mean, we basically gave them the goal in the amount of space, but after that, they didn't create that much. We got it back in front. And I think looking at the match strategy, we probably had a fairly deserved win. And we made it to a final.
We've made it to FA Cup final day and the last game of this beta save. As you can see, we've got West Ham in the FA Cup final. <coughs> they, as you can see from the late table, they only just stayed up on the last day of the season. And the last day of the season was really interesting. We'll, we'll get to that in a second. But just to have a look at what we've done since the semi final, we started off the game against Man City where we actually played pretty well um, we restricted their, the number of chances they had and then got caught right at the end Bernardo still over the goal and then Erling Haaland five minutes into injury time which put Man City ahead of us in the in the league table and obviously made it look a lot more difficult in terms of finishing in the top four we then followed that up with a really good performance at home against Arsenal um, there was a bit of concern when they pulled a goal back at 2-1 um, but we were able to go and, and win the game 3-1 really strong performance we then went away to Everton in the penultimate game of the season which was the last game at Goodison Park and we blew them out of the water in the first hour we were 4-0 up then Calvert-Lewin got injured for them and then suddenly they became a threat. They hadn't threatened the whole game up to that point. Then they got three goals and almost had a, a fourth in injury time. And actually, with the way the final day went, it was actually a good job that we picked up three points there and didn't concede an equaliser. And on the final day of the season, a 1-1 draw against Chelsea. We were much better in the first half. They were better in the second half. And that's how the season ended. Now, the reason the last day of the season was interesting, we'll start at the bottom. West Ham stayed up. On the last day of the season, they beat Bournemouth to go to leapfrog them at the bottom of the table to stay up. Going into the, the last day of the season, Man City in third on 71 points. We were on fourth, in fourth on 71 points. Newcastle were in fifth on 71 points and Chelsea were in 6th on 68 points so realistically especially when you can look at the goal difference between us and Chelsea just about anything could have happened just about anyone could have um, finished in the top 4 it just so happened that we were at home to Chelsea and Newcastle were at home to Man City so knowing that as long as we didn't lose we weren't gonna we were gonna finish in the top four because there's no way that Man City or Newcastle could both leave progress if we drew which made the last um few moments of the game a bit dicey in the Chelsea game because obviously if Chelsea had won they would have gone to 71 points alongside us and uh, Newcastle and would have gone ahead of us on goal difference but luckily, we were able to hold on. We ended up finishing fourth on the table. We've qualified for the Champions League. And now, hopefully, we can just finish everything off and win the FA Cup. So, going into the FA Cup final, we made one change from the, the team that played the Chelsea game. Antonio Silva's come back into the centre defence. Alexandro Martin dropped to the bench. Hopefully, we have enough about us to be able to see off West Ham team. We're going with the 4 2 3 1 that we've played pretty much the whole season. They're going with almost the flat back seven, and then three, hopefully, we can exploit some space in midfield here. Dallo with an early throw, Fernandez, Garnacho. And actually round all the way around the defence, squares it, oil and scores. Less than two minutes on the clock, we've taken the lead. And hopefully we can continue with this, not throw it away like we have done in so many games. Where we have had so many games this season where we've taken an early lead and then just that's assumed it's game over. Virtually a great start. They've got to throw deep in our half here. Alvarez goes back. Mavrani. Alvarez. 
sitting a bit here, yeah, we're not pressing really. Ward Prowse to Jared Bowen. Two are past there, and Thiago cut it out. Can we catch them on the counter attack here? Into Bruno Fernandes. In looking for Hoyland. It looked like Hoyland was taken out, then it looked like Rashford was taken out. Have we managed to get a penalty here? Don't know which one it was that they've given the, the penalty for. It was Kufal's count on Rashford in the county court. Fernandez has missed a couple this season. Makes no mistake this time. And that's 2 0 up after, 11, after 12 minutes of the FA Cup final. Hopefully, we can just carry on with how we started the game and, and really put in an emphatic performance just to end the save off. Darren Davis back down to the silver door. Into Tiago, and then we caught out, but Scalvini nicks it. Hoyland down Neves. What? Oh, I think the keeper probably should have saved that, but it's a lovely bit of play by Jao Neves. Really kind of come into his own. It was a big money deal, but he's come into his own in the last couple of months of the season. Scalvini nicks it into Hoyland, who turns, visits Neves, who thinks past the defender, shoots. From distance and Ariola got nowhere near it. Corner for them. Ward Prowse to take. Can we get our head on it? We don't have the biggest of teeth. <laughs> As it's proven. Kurt Zuma heads home. They've pulled a goal back. Hopefully it's just a little more than a consolation, but we do have a pretty small team. Right, Dallo draw, Ganacho, Dallo into Fernandez. Back to Tia. We've got all the way back to the halfway line from being in the box for some reason. Dallo down the line to Ganacho, squares it. Going to get past Rashford. Is that another penalty? Looked like Alvarez tripped Joe Neves there as he was coming on to shoot. And it's been given. Fernandez to step up again. Does he go the same direction? No. Keeper went the same way the first one went. Ball goes the opposite way. 4 1 up approaching half time. And a really strong position in this game. Just exactly what we needed after they'd scored. Go up the other end, get a goal. Shaw with a corner before half time. Scalvini heads it wide and ultimately a really good first half. Obviously disappointing to have conceded the goal from the corner, but really comfortable. 4 1 off. And hopefully we just continue on in the second half like we started in the first. There's back to Andrew Silva. Thiago. Scalvini bring it forward. Shaw's Loads of space on the left hand side. The Rashford. Thiago, what a ball that is. The outside of the right foot. Rashford pulls it back to Jean Neves on the edge of the box. And he fires it high and wide. That would have been a lovely goal if we'd managed to do something with it. Oh, a natural piece of the ball in space. Driving towards the byline. Campos wins it. He started them on the back here, could us over the top. Soldi scores. I think he was probably offside, but we'll see what VAR has to say. And he was offside. Lovely play by Cudders drifting inside, and that is the tightest of offside goals. It was a lovely ball and a lovely finish. I brought Rooney Bargy and Alvarez on for Rashford. They've got a corner. You get a hit to this one, but they've still got it alive. Comes back to all Prowse and crosses. Managed to get it clear again. They've still got the ball outside our box. 
Alvaro Rooney Barge getting back there to win it, but that's a terrible pass. Just inviting attack after attack on here. Campos squares it. Trisaldi this time, that one will count. And they've pulled it back to 4 2. Right, approaching injury time, we've got a two goal lead, but we've got the ball at the back, which always suggests we could be about to give the ball away in a stupid position. Nan, Scalvini, Dallo, space to move into, into Bruno Fernandes, Alvarez. Still has the ball on the left hand side here. Shaw, Thiago. Or back to Antonio Silva. Gives the ball away. Aguirre got there before Bruno Fernandes racing forward. And luckily he, was, he dragged that one wide, otherwise that could have made uh, some tense injury time. Halfway through the injury time period, got to go deep in our own half. And we've just basically given the ball back to them. Or Prowse. Luckily, that goal was a bit, a little too, a little too late. We've somehow, despite how we dominated that first half, come away and we, at least we've won the game. But from four-one up, to let them back into it and for it to finish four-three. But we've ended this season and this mini beat save with another trophy. First season, win the Carabao Cup. Qualify for the Champions League, second season win the FA Cup, qualify for the Champions League. I think that's probably about as much as I could expect with the squad we had. And there we are, the end of the season, the end of this mini beat save. Overall, qualify for the Champions League in both seasons, won the Carabao Cup in the first season, the FA Cup in the second season. I think consider that a success from where we were at the start of the First season, also getting Harry Maguire and his wages off the books helped a lot. The one thing, obviously, as well, like looking at the players, I mean, that first season, Rash Ganacho were outstanding. Loads of goals, loads of assists. Ganacho, in particular, when he's fit, has been absolutely outstanding. As I said, at the end of the beat save, this episode has been released on the day that the game fully releases. So stay tuned. Look out for the main save coming soon. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.